Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Susan's Just Making It. I'm Susan, and as always, I'm here making stuff, messes, chaos, and just trying to make it through life. If you've been here before, welcome back, and if this is your first time watching, welcome to my channel. If you like today's video, please give it a thumbs up. Hope everyone's doing great. And this video, I debated whether I was going to do a video with it or not, but I'm like, yeah, might as well. Maybe somebody can get an idea out of it. So, <coughs> excuse me. Basically, what I'm going to do is put together a little gift basket for Christmas. I have a particular person that is impossible to buy for because they don't want anything and they don't like anything and they're very picky and I'm like, I just don't know. I'm at my wit's end. So, I got a little stroke of somewhat brilliance, I guess. I hope. So, anyway, I'm just going to put together a gift basket. Um, the person, like, doesn't really ask for anything and when you give them something they like you should have bought this for me so <clears throat> what I'm going to do is just put together a little basket of snacks and stuff because who doesn't like snacks and goodies so um, I showed this in my Dollar Tree haul um, I don't know if this video is going up before or after that but I picked up this little basket it's a decent size but I have quite a bit of stuff to put in it and I thought this would work well because um, it can be used after it's empty um, so I'm going to make this up for the man of the house who I don't know what to buy for him. I don't. Everybody keeps asking me, what should I get from Mercer? Like, I don't know. You don't want nothing. So um, I was thinking after this is emptied, like maybe his um, hair clippers and some of his toiletries and stuff, maybe he can keep in this if that's what he chooses to do or whatever. I don't know. <coughs> so I bought this at the Dollar Tree. I'm going to try to tickle my throat. And I'm just going to fill it up. And I want to just show you some of the types of things I picked up. Like I said, I don't know if this will give you some ideas if you have somebody that's hard to buy for or something you think that would just like a goodie basket. Like, in hindsight, I should probably put one of these together for each of my boys, but I got them other stuff. Um, Harley's over here on my little bench, and she's like giving me a dirty look because I'm like kind of putting stuff where she's trying to lay. But um, she'll be okay. So I'm going to try to put the bigger stuff in and go to the smaller stuff. I've got like a couple bags that I'm just going to pull from. Now, I also, to make it a little bit more interesting, picked up just some scratch off lottery tickets that I'm going to tape onto some of the snacks. So that man can snack and scratch all Christmas day if he wants to. As long as he leaves me alone, I don't care. So, <laughs> I'm going to take these on and hopefully, I mean, he's pretty nosy, so he'll notice. Uh, my first thought was, I hope he doesn't not realize they're on there and he throws the package away without realizing there's a ticket on it. But this man is oblivious to everything unless it's none of his business. And then he is right all into it. So, yeah, I know I'm bad, but I'm just saying how I feel. It, instead of doing a goodie basket, like if he doesn't chill and stop being a pain right in my rear end, I might better just take him to the store to pick out a suit and tie. Why, you ask? Because if this man doesn't leave me alone, he's going to need some nice clothes for when he's laying in the casket because that's where he's going to end up if he doesn't chill because mm, the urge, the urge sometimes. Sometimes he gets to me more than my kids did growing up. But there you go. <laughs> they say, um, which child was your most difficult child? And they, in the response is my mother-in-law's son. Yeah, that's about it. So anyway, I'm going to put in these. I showed these in a haul from Ocean State Job Lots. I picked these up for $3.99 a piece. Um, he's a coffee drinker. Once in a while, he likes flavored coffee. I thought it was a special treat to have instead of just regular coffee. So I'm just going to kind of throw those in there. Like I said, I'm going to go from try to put the bigger stuff and then put the smaller stuff. I don't even know if this basket's going to be big enough, but I'll cram the stuff in. So then I also I'm trying to find where I put stuff. I think there's something. <laughs> don't mind me. I was going to say, I know I bought a box of cookies. Um, he likes peanut butter, so we've got the um, Nutter Butters, and I'm going to go ahead and stick a ticket on this because it's a bigger item. Price stickers. He don't care. He's going to devour this stuff so quick, he's not even going to um, realize there's a price sticker on it. And I'm just rolling my tape 
and putting it on because I don't want to like tape over the front because um I don't think it will probably, probably affect it as long as the barcodes are good so I'm going to avoid the barcodes on it but I don't want it to like rip the um actual ticket so I'm just rolling tape and putting it on there and I'm just going to like stick it on um some of the stuff so I thought that would be fun. He does enjoy scratch off tickets. And then if he wins a few dollars, he's, he can have a few dollars to get himself something. So I'm going to put that in there. And then let's see. I do have this. I'm going to, um, I've had this forever. I don't even remember where I bought it. Probably at Dollar Tree. They might still have them. I don't know. It's been floating around forever. But it's the, um, I'm not going to shrink wrap it. I'm just going to put it down in here and put the plastic around it. And I'm trying to do this because this is his later night at work. Hiding stuff from him is worse than hiding things from a kid. He is, he is mad at me because I call him nosy. He's nosy. I picked up these, um, they have these at Walmart. Um, Dunkin' Box of Chocolates. We have um, Boston Cream, Brownie Batter, and Chocolate Cream. Little chocolates. I thought they'd be cute and uh, she's just knocking stuff down all over. You know why? Because she's got bubble wrap. And she likes bubble wrap. So let's see what else we have. His favorite candy is Ferrero Rocher. So I got one of those. And I'll go ahead and put a ticket on that. I'm going to try not to take too long and just throw this together. Um, I know some states, you know, have the scratch off lottos. Others don't. Um, if your state does this, it's an idea. If not, you know, just the goodies alone probably would work but we, we have that here so I'm going to take advantage of that so put that in there I don't think the spats is going to be big enough but we'll stack it in this I'll probably put beside it in the wrap so he's always wanting a new coffee mug he has to have like humongous coffee mugs so this is a nice big size I got this at Walmart this was $5.48 so I'm just going to flip that little tag off not that he cares but it's um, a nice mug he likes blue and then it's got hot chocolate and it's got marshmallows. So I'll put that in the bag with the basket. And then um, I like Snickers. I got this really big stack of Snickers. I think I got some dollar tickets that are smaller. Hope he wins something for what I paid in tickets. Hope he wins at least that much back. It's, it's fun, you know, to scratch off the tickets and stuff. It's something to do, and it, it's always that excitement if you're going to win. But it's even better if you actually do win. <laughs> so, yeah. So, let's put that on there. Let's put that in there. And I'll show you what this looks like when I'm all done putting everything in. And I do apologize for bumping the table with the camera. Um, like peanut butter and Reese's. So, we got some Reese's trees. I didn't realize these were all different colors. So, um, basically I'm just recording the video because if you have somebody that is hard to buy for, you know, just take their favorite snacks and make a snack uh, basket. You know, if they're watching, you know, a movie or something, or even if you give it on Christmas Eve. So I found this um, Rudolph snack mix at Walmart. I don't remember how much it was, probably like a dollar. It's got chocolate, little pretzels, and peanuts. Just put that in there. Just try to pick up fun little different things that I thought he would enjoy. Um, he likes Whoppers. I picked up a little Whoppers. Um, that's kind of too small to put a ticket on. I probably should have put a ticket on the coffees. I don't know what this is going to fit in. We'll cram it in there. Oh, let's see. Some little likes hot chocolate in the winter. So I have a couple of hot chocolates. This man like consumes way too much sugar, but and this is not helping. It's like encouraging it almost, but go man's going to do it anyway, whether you say anything or not. So it is what it is. You know, um, once people are set in their ways, um, not much you say is going to change that. So, what are you going to do? So, put a 
people. I don't know how chocolate. I think this is going to be like. I'm not going to fit this back. I mean, this basket. Oh well. Get a hammer and make it fit. So there's that. Kind of close in there a little bit. Got way more stuff than I realized I did. I didn't even realize I. I just picked up a few things here and there. And didn't realize it was this much. Um, put that bag away. I don't know. I'm gonna try to make it fit, guys. Let's see. Oh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I do my best. I feel like um, gift baskets are really great alternatives to those I don't know what to get for somebody because I mean maybe you can't think of a big gift but if you know like some stuff they like um, makes it a little bit easier um, like for a female doing like a self-care basket or something like that or you know um, I'm sure you can think of something that the particular person is interested in um, I'm sure they drop hints from, you know, if you pay attention to people and you're around them often enough, I think you can pretty much pick up on something they might like. I found these um, vanilla peanut butter taffies. Put those in there. I found these at Ollie's. They were $1.29. Not bad for a bag of salt water taffy. I don't know if he likes this or not. I've never known of him to eat it, but it's peanut butter, so maybe. And if not, I'm sure someone will come around that will eat it. So it's not a big deal. I'm going to stick this little hot chocolate pot. Oh, maybe I won't. It's not going to fit in there. Oh, let's see. A few more things. I found this little guy at Five Below. He was $3, I think. A Ferrero Rocher snowman. Yeah, he's not going to fit. Something that's going to fit this little spot I have. And I might be able to make it fit. Um, I don't know if he likes these. I don't know if he's ever had them before, but he likes Ferro Rocher that have hazelnut and the coffee that does. So, yeah. Um, some Reese miniatures from Walmart. Some little Ferro Rocher minis. Like I said, I. Didn't pick this all up once. I just pick up something here and there when I see it. Um, melt, hot chocolate melt away Santas. Here's hot chocolate. I should have got some marshmallows, but I didn't think about it. Um, I'm not gonna have room for all these stuff to stick all these tickets on. So these two bigger ones, I'm just gonna stick in there for them to find. Um, I did get some of the Lindors. Now. I'm not sure how much these were, but I think it feels like there's only a couple in there. So, um, definitely the Dollar Tree ones were probably a better deal. I don't know if they're as good as, but I'm sure they won't go to waste. This man can eat. So, just stick them on there. Yeah. Yeah. And then I have just a few more things. Oh my goodness. So, he's a cookie monster, so I got some Nutter Butter, and his favorite are chocolate chip. So, the peanut butter addiction and the chocolate chip addiction. Got a couple of those. Like I said, this man can snack all day if that's what he wants to do. I figure if he's busy shoving food in his face, he's not running his mouth. I know I probably sound terrible, but. I don't know. Just, just saying how I feel. Sometimes I'm like, oh, if you would just go somewhere and be quiet. <laughs> Here, eat, eat food and be quiet. So I'm just going to stick these last couple of tickets. Honey buns, that's his favorite snack. So I got a couple of those. If it's got sugar, he likes it. <laughs> I'm like, you're, you're going to die. <laughs> oh, someday. Yeah, you keep eating all this sugar, it's going to be sooner than you realize. So anyway... I think that's everything. 
I'm just going to skip these in here. And then you, I'll show you what I came up with. You see, it took me, we're at 15 minutes. So I did want to do this in real time just to give you an idea that it doesn't take a long time to pull something like this together. And like I said, I did not buy all this at once. I picked up a couple things on this trip, a couple things on that trip. Just when I went in the store, I just kind of glanced around to see if I um, found something that would be good to throw in here. Dollar Tree Basket. This is what it looks like all done. No, it's a little skippy on that spot, but that's okay. Just because that's how things laid in there. So if he can't find a snack in here to munch on, on either if I give it to him on Christmas Eve or Christmas morning, if you can't find a snack, it, you know, in between, you know, breakfast time and when I put Christmas dinner on the table, I don't know what to tell you. And um, yeah, I hope he doesn't try to eat all this all at once. It's like having a kid. But you can see it's it's really quite full. And um really didn't cost a lot the what cost the most is the stupid lottery tickets but um and some stuff like this is hollow like would I normally pay three dollars no I wouldn't but it's Christmas time so sometimes you just have to put that aside um for the sake of it being the holidays um the on a more serious note I mean I know I'm joking around that he drives me nuts which he does he does but um, he also does not, you know, try to control me. He doesn't put his hands on me. I shop and he doesn't say anything as long as the bills are paid. He does not say anything about, I mean, he jokes, but he doesn't say anything about the money I spend. Um, he's like, I hope you're buying stuff for yourself, not just other people. I said, don't worry, I buy enough for myself. So he, he said not to get him anything. So technically, kind of, this isn't a gift. But I can't not give him anything because he is good to me. So here's his little bucket of goodies. Maybe he'll let me have a snack out of it. So that's that. And then of course the mug. He wanted it. He told me not too long ago that if I found a nice big mug that I thought he would like to get it for him. So I thought this was nice. They had um, the blue. They had a red. They had a green. Um, but I thought he'd like the blue. So. I'm going to just, um, I'm not going to bother doing it on camera because it's probably going to make a ton of noise. But I'm just going to slip it down inside this bag. I'm not going to shrink wrap it because it's not necessary. Um, it does have some ribbon. I'll probably just um, bring it up around it and tie a bow. And then I need to find a place to hide it because he's very nosy. As I told him, I said, you are the only man that I know is oblivious to everything going on around him. The whole house could probably explode, and as long as you're into the TV show you're watching, you wouldn't notice. But if it's something that doesn't concern you, you are all eyes and ears, and you just have to be all up in it. And the man acts like he's deaf. He's always, huh, huh, huh. And, I, and then when I raise my voice, why are you yelling at me? I said, because you can never hear me. So he's always deaf, but if you're in the other room talking to somebody about something that's not his concern or you don't want him to hear, his ears work really good. Let me know down in the comments if you know anybody like that. So anyway, a few minutes, throw together a gift basket. If you pick up a few things at a time, you're not really not going to notice that you're spending that much money and, you know, go to, go to the Dollar Tree, go to the Family Dollar, go to Walmart and look at their snacks. It really doesn't cost a lot. My um, older son is more into savory snacks. So pick up, you know, um, crackers and little bags of chips and beef jerky and things like that if that's what they prefer. You know, it doesn't take a lot and I'm sure he'll be thrilled with this. Because like I said, he asked for very little and he's told everybody don't buy him anything. But he's going to be happy. He is. His goodies and some scratchies, he's going to be like a kid on Christmas morning. So... Anyway, let me know if you have the same man troubles I do, and um, <laughs> let me know what you think. Your feedback's always appreciated. I hope everyone's doing well, and that you're having a happy holiday season. And until the next video, bye everyone.